Rock. Welcome back to the show. I'm now joined by that comedian. You just saw him on our program. He's Bob Seibel. Hi, Bob. <laughs> now, you told me that for years people were calling you Seibel. Sibel, Sobel, Siebel, Sable. I played four positions in high school football. Send Sibyl out, Sobel. He's like, well, I don't know, half, I'm serious. But it's Seibel, right? Yes, Seibel. Seibel. We're going to get it right here on television, everybody. Yes. Seibel. How about that? Huh? Seibel. Yeah. And that's a German name. Most comics are Jewish, blacks, Irish, Italian, Latino. I grew up German in a Greek neighborhood. Oh, yeah. When I look at him, I go, Tikanis. <laughs> and for having me here, I say, Afharisto, right? You go, Baragalo, right? Yeah. And I look and at when you. When I want to see her, go, Elado, right? Yeah. Right? You know what I'm yeah. talking about. You are Greek. Listen, no, do, me, I, I do me a favor and give me some left eye, will you? Because I. <laughs> I, I <laughs> Now, you actually grew up in Lynn, my dad has cousins that live in Lynn. Lynn, Massachusetts? Yes, sir. And I grew up in a, uh, well, I'll give you a reason why Lynn is very famous. I use, talk about Lynn in Atlantic City and Las Vegas, because if you fly to Vegas or uh, any parts of the United States, you owe it to Lynn, because the first jet engine in the United States of Gee. America Gee. was manufactured in 1942 at General Electric, yeah, the right. birthplace of GE, 1894, 1895, was Lynn, Massachusetts. True story. Were you there for the birth of that? Uh, no, my father. <laughs> you know, it, it's true story. Everybody has that. The image in Lynn is to go to grammar school, go to high school, you go to the GE, you work 40 years, you retire, you get a pension, you move to New Hampshire, build a cottage on a lake, and <laughs> a year later, your children go up free base and burn it down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't in my future, I said. So I chose... Um, the insanity, and I was exposed. Uh, we had a Greek comic that lived. There was right. one. Yes. Oh my and God. And I want to say this for his son is my best friend. The name, man's name was Andy Andrews. He was also known as the Mad Greek, and Andy was my brother's best friend. Andy worked USO all over Europe. Very, very famous. Andy Andrews, the Mad Greek. If you get it, look it up on your yeah. computer. Hey, can you? A is, brilliant Greek comic. Is I mean, he still around? It. No, he okay. passed away a long time ago, right. but I had the LP and his son Frankie Andrews, who's still a friend of mine, like I say, and I also had a friend named Georgie Aganis, whose uncle was Harry Aganis, one of the best things that happened to Red Sox, he unfortunately died when he was about 26 years old. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thrilled to be here. And, I'll be and you here got every all these week. you got all these Greek connections. So now we have to bring you back. What about this everybody? I love it. I love it. Now, Bob, I want to ask you real quick. How did you get into comedy? My mother said I was born with a smile. I never had any attitude. To me, laughter is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Loosen up, lighten up, right? Yeah. Two important things, laughter, right, and yeah. music. Yeah. Without those, you're a politician. All right? Come on! Well, Bob, we're... No we're, offense, but I mean it. We're happy you came here. You're I'm happy. happy. I, I'm thrilled. Listen, and if I drive and I see you with the glasses and your head barely over the side, I'm going to start beeping right at you. It's Ladies and there. gentlemen, Bob Seibel. We thank, thank you for coming. You. Very thank funny. We'll be right back right after this. Yeah.